Pixar has been a major player in the world of animation ever since the release of Toy Story back in 1995. The studio followed their wildly successful debut with a number of other groundbreaking works like Toy Story 2, The Incredibles, and Finding Nemo. Bye. Pixar quickly became synonymous with quality filmmaking, and as a result, every new release was an event. In 2006, Pixar was acquired by Disney Studios. John Lasseter, who was then the head of Pixar, took over while Disney animated studios and was promoted to CCO of both. Over the next two years, Pixar and Disney worked to develop a new slate of films, which were announced in 2008. Of the five movies announced, four are instantly recognizable. Up, Toy Story 3, The Bear and the Bow, AKA Brave, and Cars 2. But The Odd Name Out is Newt, a film that was scheduled for release more than a decade ago, but has never seen the light of day. So, what happened to this mysterious Pixar movie? And why was it never released? Let's find out on what the f happened to this unmade Newt movie. According to Disney's 2008 press release, Newt tells the story of Newt and Brooke, the last remaining male and female blue-footed Newts on the planet. Although the two are polar opposites and can't stand each other, they are forced together by science to save the species. The Amphidium Love Story was to be directed by award-winning sound designer Gary Rydstrom, who had worked with the likes of Steven Spielberg, James Cameron, and J.J. Abrams. Rydstrom made his directorial debut with Lifted, a Pixar short film that played before Ratatouille in theaters. Like many Pixar shorts, Lifted served as Rydstrom's stepping stone into feature filmmaking, and Newt, which he co-wrote with Leslie Cavaney, was going to be his feature-length debut. Production began on the project, Concept art was created to further flesh out the film's world and establish a visual language and palette. Based on released artwork, Newt and Brooke were orange Newts, like salamanders, with darker spots and distinctively blue feet, hence their names. They lived in what appears to be a swamp, or similarly tropical and humid environment, populated by towering fauna and wildlife that looked positively alien from Newt's tiny perspective, and an array of villainous characters, including a two-headed snake, and a ravenous owl. Storyboards were created to work out any kinks in the story. Actors Ben Stiller, William Shatner, and Dabney Coleman were attached to the film, but their roles were never disclosed. Unfortunately, the production hit some rocky waters early on. Although the film was announced in 2008 and set for a summer 2011 release, the brain trust at Pixar were not satisfied with the current iteration of the script. The Brain Trust, for those unaware, is a meeting that takes place every few months amongst Pixar's top creative teams to discuss the films they're working on and the issues they're facing. And together, they come up with potential solutions. In a sense, every Pixar release is a group project, thanks to the Brain Trust. Every major creative in the studio has their fingerprints on every film in some, if only minor, capacity. It's a unique way of working and is no doubt a major reason their movies have been so successful. After several unsuccessful attempts to rectify Newt's story issues, the studio decided it was time to take the film in a totally different direction. Gary Rydstrom was removed from the project and replaced with a veteran Pixar director, Pete Docter, responsible for Monsters, Inc. and Up. He was essentially given carte blanche to rebuild the entire story by scratch, if he so desired. But Pete Docter was never really sold on Newt and didn't want to work on it. Instead, he pitched another idea for a film, one that focused on a child's emotions. The studio loved it and allowed Docter to pursue his idea over Newt. That movie would eventually become Inside Out. With the creatives now focusing their attention on Inside Out, Newt was placed on the back burner. But the trouble didn't stop there. In 2011, the same year Newt was scheduled for release, 20th Century Fox released their animated comedy, Rio, which also focused on the last two members of a rare animal species, this time macaw birds, who are polar opposites but forced together by science to continue their species. 
Although it wasn't noted at the time, John Laster would later admit that Rio was the final nail in Newt's coffin. Gary Rydstrom went on to direct Hawaiian Vacation, another Pixar short, this time set in the world of Toy Story. In 2015, Gary was finally given the chance to make a feature-length animated feature with Strange Magic, a film set in the world of fairies, imps, and ogres. Based on a story idea by George Lucas, the film didn't connect with audiences or critics, unfortunately, and was a critical and commercial flop. In the years following the film's cancellation, pieces of concept art have made their way online that give us an inside look into the world of Newt, offering eager fans brief glimpses at what could have been. But due to the often secretive and exclusive nature of animation studios, especially Pixar, not much is really known about the movie. So will Newt ever see the light of day? Well, let's just say, don't hold your breath. But even though he may never have a film of his own, Newt does appear in Brave, Toy Story 3, and The Good Dinosaur in blink and you'll miss it cameos. So in a fun way, the legacy of Newt still lives on in our imaginations. And maybe, just maybe, we'll see him again soon.